Okay, it's spotlight time, and I think this will be a good one. Uh, you, me and Greg talked a little bit uh, yesterday, I think it was, about like, hey, who's some crossover talents that both you and Magnum have kind of ran into? And uh, you know, Greg has a huge list, and I'm sure you do too, Magnum, but uh, well, I figure a good one to start with would be none other than Ric Flair. Uh, and that was per Greg's suggestion too. Uh, my goodness, uh, such a transition from his AWA days to the Nature Boy to what we – a lot of fans uh, uh, associate him with. Um, but, Greg, I wanted to get your uh, impressions, first impressions of Ric Flair and Vern's first impressions of Ric Flair because 1971, I think, is when you guys started training. Is that correct? Yeah, I was still training uh, 72, right after the Olympics in 72. Mm -hmm. Patera finished the Olympics. We came home, and it was Patera, Flair, uh, Brunzel, the Iron Sheik, Bob Bruggers, and myself. And um, Rick was 294 pounds when he came to camp. Patera was 360. And, uh, you know, we did six hours, six days a week. But Vern always saw it. You could see it in flair. I mean, uh, Vern used to say this was the best class that he ever, you know, consisted with all six of us coming out of it and doing well. Uh, Brugger's got in a Could have been, but most of us, uh, you know, Rick was, Rick was Rick. I knew him in college. He wasn't any different uh, today than he was back in college. I don't know if I've told you the story about the girls, the, the sorority. Did I ever tell that story? No. Oh, really? So we're freshmen at the University of Minnesota and the, the football coach is Murray Warmath. And uh, Rick and I knew each other from high school. And he, Murray wanted me to stay in charge of Flair, you know, keep tabs on him. Well, Flair's in one one's fraternity, and we're, I'm in another one. And this fraternity in the fall, they have the they have the sororities come over, and they all meet together, right? So here comes here comes the girls, the freshmen, and some of the juniors and seniors are coming up, and they're coming up to the Del the Delta House. And they hear this, woo, and they look up, and here's Rick on the second floor of the of the uh, of the fraternity house, one light bulb on above him, the window wide open, and he's standing up there naked. <laughs> he's a That's a big shock. A huge shock. I, I am appalled. I don't believe you would say that about the Nature Boy. Right? It never. Really? Yeah. <laughs> There he was. Well, the freshman girls, a lot of them took off, but some of the other ones came in, and I know a few of those seniors took the took that uh, Space Mountain ride that night. <laughs> so he, from the days of them till now, he hasn't changed a whole lot. He, well, was, he, he was a personality, and and Vern saw it in him right away.